Hello and welcome to our special coverage around Paris 2024. We are just a few hours away from the opening ceremony, an opening ceremony that promised to be a very first in the history of the Olympic Games because we never have had a situation where you have the Olympic Games outside of a stadium but that's how it's going to be this time around what you can see behind me is of course the iconic eiffel tower this is also going to be part of the opening ceremony you're going to have a lot of athletes go by also just right behind me there is the seine river and in fact the the one thing that everyone's looking forward to is going to be the parade of the athletes up until now you've been used to watching the athletes walk on the race track this time they're going to be on boats going across the Seine River, going across this Eiffel Tower that you see behind me. So just hours away from that, at the moment, uh, how the city is, let me just give you a bit of a lowdown. I've been here a few hours, a lot of security all around, all roads have been closed, there's heavy duty security. In fact, right now, usually this area is packed with tourists, but tourists are now not allowed to go anywhere near the Eiffel Tower. Only the media personnel, as well as people who are participating in the organization of the Olympic Games can be around the Eiffel Tower for now. There has been a lot of disruption of train services and all of those details we're going to be giving you as we go forward uh, in our segment right now, coming to you live from Paris. Let me first give you a bit of a news that's coming out and not great news that's coming out of Paris. Now, in a shocking event, uh, arsonist uh, attacked France's TGV high-speed train network that caused chaos on the country's biggest rail ahead of the Paris Olympics. Uh, opening ceremony, the action took place despite a massive security operation involving tens of thousands of troops and police to guard. Even Argentina's men's football coach Javier Mascherano revealed that the team's Olympic training base was robbed before its chaotic tournament opening loss to Morocco on Wednesday, increasing security tensions. Following this, security has been beefed up in the capital by authorities, placing 155 people under surveillance, providing 24-hour protection to Israeli competitors and deploying snipers, radar surveillance planes and Mirage 2000 fighter jets. Okay, all those controversies apart that we're witnessing here ahead of a big event like the Olympic Games. But remember, uh, the Games actually kickstart once the opening ceremony happens. We've already had a few qualifying rounds in a few events uh, at the moment. But the opening ceremony is that that everyone here has been looking forward to. And why is that? Because for the very first time at the Olympic Games, you're going to be having an opening ceremony, not in the stadium, but outside in the city. And that has really opened it up for Parisians, people who stay here in the city. Everyone is welcome to be witnessing this opening ceremony as it goes around town. But other than that, uh, there are also going to be VIP enclosures for people who would like to sit and watch. But if you do not have a ticket for the opening games, worry not, you could just line across the streets and really enjoy or line across the Seine River that runs through Paris and then enjoy the opening ceremony. What else can you expect in terms of number of celebrities performing? How is it that the players parade is going to happen? All of that packed in in our next report. Paris is all set for 2024 Olympics. And marking the start of the quadrennial tournament will be an extravagant opening ceremony. The ceremony will be like none other in the past as the French capital transforms into a virtual theatre. Setting things in motion on the big night will be rapper Snoop Dogg, who will carry the Olympic torch in the final stages when it passes through Paris. For the very first time in the history of the competition, the opening ceremony will take place outside a stadium. Spectators will be treated to a colourful river parade through the heart of Paris. While there is no official confirmation right now, it is expected that Celine Dion and Lady Gaga will be dazzling the spectators with their magical performances. India will be represented in the parade by Sharath Kamal and P.V. Sindhu, who are the country's official flag bearers. And the grand finale of the ceremony will be marked by a captivating light show, adding a touch of enchantment to the evening.
स्पोर्ट्स ब्यूरो इंडिया टुडे Okay, those are the things that you can look forward to once the opening ceremony starts. Remember, it's just a few hours away. But other than this extravaganza that you're going to be witnessing, there are also worrying reports that are emerging out of Paris, and these are related to a lot of snatching as well as robbery attempts, and even an arsenal uh, attack is what we're getting to hear at the moment that are emerging from Paris. Let me just give you a bit of a lowdown as to what are those worrying bits of news that are. emerging from this city uh, the first target has been francis prestigious high speed tgv rail network the tgv has been struck by malicious acts including arson attacks that have disrupted the transport system the national rail operator sncf has said that this is a massive attack on a large scale intended to paralyze the tgv network this has of course Uh, prompted a lot of people that may be traveling in for the opening ceremony remember uh, a lot of tourists from across europe were planning to get here on the day of the opening ceremony uh, there are also lots of officials that have actually not come directly to paris but maybe coming in via various other european countries at the moment all of that is going to be affected because the train network this is of course remember not the metro that you have in paris but this is the 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 train network the national train network that has uh, been disrupted that is going to affect people that are coming from other parts of france into paris as well as from other european countries into paris and that is a big big blow uh, to paris olympics 2024 as we speak Okay, it's, uh, remember, meanwhile, uh, it's not just the TGV, but Olympics from uh, different countries have been targeted. Uh, Australian uh, cyclist Logan Martin was the victim of a robbing incident. Several Australian staff and media personnel have also been robbed in various instances in the city. Then, uh, moving on, there is uh, news that the Argentina football team have had a rough start in Paris too. following the pitch invasion against morocco which caused security concerns the argentina team were actually robbed at their training center a day prior to the match versus morocco one of the items stolen was a player's watch the argentinian delegation has promptly filed a police complaint